Right. So in the last session, we were discussed about the two watt meter method. Two watt meter method. So in two watt meter method, what is the major concept involved? Is that the two current coils, the two CCs means current coils of watt meters of watt meters. are connected are connected are connected in any in any any two phases in any two phases of the system that may be r y or that may be r b like that but we have to connect these current coils in series with any these are connected in series with are connected yeah here let me add are connected in series in series with with in with any of the two phases just you add this in series with and and what is the other thing and pressure coils of those wet meters are connected <coughs> sorry pressure coils are connected are connected from 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 those phases to from those phases to from those phases to the remaining 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 phase remaining phase so if i'll choose here two phases r comma y then here so r to b and y to b so we must connect the potential coils of the two watt meters so this kind of configuration which phases you choose that doesn't matter but if the configuration is that such that two current coils are in any of the two phases voltage coils of those watt meters are from those phases to remaining third phase so that kind of configuration will gives the two watt meter concept where we seen that in the last session that so how much was the w1 can somebody tell me how much is the w1 w1 reading what was the reading w1 w1 reading please vl il cos is it 30 minus theta or 30 plus theta w1 w1 reading just refer back your notes is it cos 30 minus theta or 30 plus theta what about w2 vlil cos can you give me this what we got in the last session w1 w2 readings actually it depends on chosen things one will come 30 minus theta other will come 30 plus theta so we have chosen some configuration that in current coil the current coils are connected in r and y and voltage coils or pressure coils are connected from r to b and y to b so that configuration what we got vlil cos 30 minus theta or 30 plus theta this is w1 what is the value W one is thirty minus theta, is it? W two is thirty plus theta. Thirty plus theta. So just try to have a general understanding that. So in two watt meter method, what we get is that the magnitude of the watt meter as like V L I L. Here also V L I L. And the important factor is that. one of the watt meter will read cos of 30 minus theta definitely other will read as cos of 30 plus theta just even if you don't remember the entire formulas or diagram everything so if you don't miss if you miss that concept the better way to remember this two watt meter method is that in a simple manner that magnitudes are same for each watt meter as vlil 
and cos of 1 is 30 minus theta, another is 30 plus theta, that's all. Now, based on this, a simple logic is that if you add up these two watt meters, you will get the three phase active power. W1 plus W2 will give us three phase active power. So, how much is three phase active power is root three times of VL IL cos theta or it can also be written as three times of V phase I phase cos theta in either form either in line quantities or in phase quantities so we can write the watt meter reading uh, power constant the total three phase power and similarly you can see that the three phase reactive power will not be obtained directly from the watt meters as w1 minus w2 so, W1 minus W2 will give us only VLIL sin theta. So, we need to add root 3 also here. So, that, so root 3 into W1 minus W2, how much we will get is VLIL sin theta. So, in this way, you can get the relation between the wattmeter readings and the corresponding, the total active power, wattmeter readings and the corresponding total reactive power. That means, once you know the wattmeter readings, you can find how much is the total active and reactive power. Clear? And one more concept is that, so the power factor concept, so that, so we can write the power factor as cos theta, cos theta, the power factor is cos theta, where theta can be obtained in many ways, as one is tan inverse of tan inverse of root 3 into w1 minus w2 by w1 plus w2 by w1 plus w2. So, in this way you can get the theta. Once you will get the theta, you can get the power factor. Now, just let me proceed some more additional observations which are very important in understanding the uh, three phase power measurement. So, let me write some of the observations as points, so, or case. So, let us say point number 1 or A, point number 1 or A is that when, when theta is equal to 0, what does it mean? Theta means theta is the power factor angle. If the theta is 0, what we get the impedance? Impedance we get something like Z at an angle 0. So, which is equal to simply R plus JXL form, usually impedance is R plus JX form. So, this JX will go 0, then only angle will become 0. That means, this term will completely vanishes. What it left is only resistance. That means, when theta is equal to 0, we can say that, we can say that the load is, the load is, the load is resistive, pure resistive. Pure resistive. Resistive. Then, if theta is equal to 0, what is the nature of the power factor? Power factor is equal to cos theta, which is equal to cos of 0, which is equal to 1. That means, we call this as unity power factor, unity PF. When we get the unity power factor is, when load is pure resistive. When load is pure resistive, we will get the theta to be 0. If theta is 0, it is the unity power factor load. Now, in this situation, in this situation, let us observe, let us have an eye on these wattmeter readings. Why? Because that is of our major focus. At this condition, at this situation, what will be the W1, W2? What will be the W1, W2? If theta is equal to 0, try to observe carefully, this will be VLIL cos 30, other also will be VLIL cos 30. So, here the takeaway point is, both wattmeters are having same value, both readings are equal in magnitudes, which is equal to VLIL cos 30, that means under this condition, Wattmeters will give equal reading. 
so you can have many conclusions out of this that if the watt meters are having equal reading you can say load is resistive if the watt meter is having equal magnitudes means the power factor is unity like that you can conclude many things okay just it is a simple observation in the same way let us proceed for the other things that when theta is equal to 60 degrees when theta is equal to 60 degrees so what do we get check it so when theta is equal to 60 degrees how much is the power factor power factor is equal to cos theta is equal to cos of 60 how much is the cos 60 1 by 2 1 by 2 which is equal to 0 0.5 now if this is the theta again cross verify what is the w1 what is the w case 2 this is case b which is equal to vlil cos so 30 minus 60 is minus 30 other reading is vlil cos 30 plus 60 is 90. So, cos 30 is how much is the value? VLIL into cos 30. Root 3 minus by 2. 20. Cos 30. Root 3 by 2, right? Cos 60 is 1 by 2. So, 30 is definitely root 3 by 2. So, there will not be any negative as because cos function is negative of the cos function is positive right so root 3 vlil by 2 is the value of this w1 what about w2 0 4. 0 so this is one of the important observation that when the power factor is 0 0.5 then the power factor is 0 0.5 the one of the watt meter reading will be 0 one of the watt meter reading will be 0 and the total active power, three phase active power is equal to simply one watt meter reading. Why? Because usually total three phase power is equal to W1 plus W2. So W1 itself is having one value, but W2 is completely zero. So I can say the total three phase power is read by only one watt meter, either W1 or W2, depends on your connection. Okay. So, we can say that now this W1 itself is giving total 3 phase power as because W2 is 0. Okay. Next, let us see the another case that if, if the theta is in between 90 and 60, it is greater than 60 but less than 90. Then what happens? Just can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? What happens? Just take some value randomly as some theta, let us say 80 degrees, and cross verify what we get W1, what will be the value of W2 for this? For example, if theta is equal to 80, cross verify that VLIL cos of so, this will become 80 minus 30 is minus 50 and another is VLIL cos of, so 80 plus 30 is 110. So, cos above 90 degrees will give us which value? Which value? Cross verify? Cos above 90, what, what value we will get? Negative value, right? Yes, sir. So, you can say in this range, that means in between 60 to 90 degrees, 1 watt meter, so that will be, W1 will be positive. W1 is positive reading. It shows positive reading. Whereas, W2 will shows negative reading. So, whenever you get the watt meters, one watt meter reading as a positive, other as a negative, you can understand that the theta will be in the range of that, like 60 to 90 degrees. 
theta will be in the range of 60 to 90 degrees. When, when we read one watt meter to be as a positive, other to be as a negative. Clear? So next, let us see in the same way some more points that when theta is equal to 90 degrees. Can you analyze this? Can you analyze this when theta is equal to 90 degrees? Immediately check what will be the power factor. So cos of 90 0. So power factor is 0. Clear? First point. Then what will be the watt meter readings? Check it. VLIL cos of 0 0.5 W1. Yeah. So cos of this is 30 minus 90 is 60. Of course, it is negative, but ultimately we will get positive. So, we will get this as 1 by 2 VLIL. What about other value? 0, sir. No. Cos 90. No, not 0. So, cos of 30 plus 90, right? Uh, yes, sir. We need to take this 30 also as just we are substituting theta here. So cos of 120 is minus 1 by 2. I need 1 by 2, sir. So now try to observe carefully. Very important concept involved here. When the power factor is 0, one watt meter reading is shown as a positive, other watt meter reading is negative, but both are equal. This is one of the very important conclusion. This is very important for many competitive exams. This case, especially this case. They will give you that the theta is 90. So, tell me what is the total three phase power? Can you tell me how much is the total three phase power? They will not give you any value. Just directly they will say that the load operating power factor is 0. What is the total three phase power? Then you should understand when power factor is 0, one watt meter reading is positive, other will be negative, but both are equal in magnitude. If both are equal in magnitude and one is opposite to other, when we add up those two, what we will get? Tell me. Zero, sir. Zero. So, total three phase active power in this case is zero. So, this is also one of the very important uh, parameter to be observed carefully. These four cases are very, very important. Okay. So, now let me take some problems relevant to this. So, just write that the input to three phase machine is read by, or directly let me give you in the form of something like the two watt meter. 2 watt meters, 2 watt meter, 2 watt meters readings, readings or W1 is equal to 1000 watts and W2 is equal to 350 watts. Okay. 2 watt meters are there. What we need to do is that calculate the power factor. Calculate Calculate the power factor of the load, the PF of the load, PF of the load. So, what we need to do? Think of only watt meter readings are given. What we need to do? If you do not remember any formula, just think the basic idea of the 2 watt meter method that W1 is equal to 1000 which is usually VLIL cos of 30 minus theta or 30 plus theta, whatever. Another is W2 which is equal to 350, which is also equal to VLIL cos 30 plus theta. Once you know these two, then you try to add up, see that what you will get. You try to subtract, see that what you will get. And from that you will get the theta. Just you can derive on spot within one or two minutes. We already derived, so I will be writing directly. Theta is equal to tan inverse of tan inverse of 
रूट थ्री इंटू डब्ल्यू वन माइनस डब्ल्यू टू डिवाइडेड बाय टर्म डब्ल्यू वन प्लस डब्ल्यू सर नो दिस इज व्हाट वी सी इन द लास्ट सेशन टेन टेटा इज इक्वल टू दिस एक्सप्रेशन रूट थ्री इंटू डब्ल्यू वन माइनस डब्ल्यू टू बाई डब्ल्यू वन प्लस डब्ल्यू Now, can you tell me how much is this angle by substituting all these values? Root three into w one is one thousand minus three fifty by by one thousand plus three fifty. How much is this value? Cross verify. So this is ten inverse of Zero point eight three three nine, which I got. Is this correct? If there is any mistake, let me know. So then, tan inverse of this will give us the theta is equal to thirty nine point eight three degrees. This is what power factor angle, but not power factor. What we need is the power factor is equal to. Cos theta is equal to cos of 39.83. How much is cos of 39.83? So which is equal to 0.768. 0.768. So as because theta we got positive, so it is lagging nature. Whenever theta is positive, it is lagging nature. If theta is negative, it is leading nature. Okay, so let me take one more problem and let us understand a little great details of this. That the uh, or uh, let us say you will understand this terminology a little later, but try to get only. the required information out of this question that during a load test during a load test on on a three phase on a three phase induction motor on a three phase induction motor that means there is some kind of testing done on machines so we are doing some load test on a three phase induction motor that is the experiment in which the readings the readings on uh, on 2 watt meters on 2 watt meters on 2 watt meters were were 16.2 kilowatt And minus eight point two kilowatt. Minus eight point two kilowatt. The line voltage was. The line voltage was. The line voltage was four forty volts. So we need to determine. Determine. determine first bit the total active power drawn by the motor or machine total active power active power drawn by drawn by the motor drawn by the motor second bit is the power factor Pf. Third is, third is, what is the third is the line current. Third is the line current. Line current. So now think of that. What can we do out of this with the known knowledge? So try to observe carefully. so it doesn't matter what kind of test etc all those things are not our interest what is our interest is two watt meter method in which watt meter readings are known 
including the sign very important and voltage is known line voltage is known what we need to find total active power and power factor and line current let us see how to find these things so straight away i can write the total active power p3 phase is equal to w1 plus w2 we already seen we verified that w1 plus w2 in 2 watt meter method will gives the total three phase power clear total three phase power now just tell me how much is this value 16.2 minus 8.2 is equal to 8 8 so 8 kilowatts so the total three phase power is 8 kilowatt straight away we got it and power factor just now we had seen so for which the power factor is usually cos theta but initially we need to find the theta how we get the theta tan inverse of root 3 into difference of the watt meter readings divided by sum of the watt meter readings in that way you remember it doesn't matter which one is w1 which one is w2 in generally numerator should be difference denominator should be addition okay tan inverse of root 3 into how much is the difference difference we already no we have not seen so this is 24.2 minus minus it become plus so 8.2 divided by difference we already seen 8 how much is this value this value theta value theta value i got as just cross verify 79.28 is this correct 79.28 yeah very good very good so now once we get this now it is easy to find the power factor cos of 79.28 how much is this value so cos of 79.28 is 0 0.18 0 it is lagging so theta we got positive so it is lagging what about third question third question is simple but you have to understand carefully for which the total three phase power which we had seen previously is w1 plus w2 which is equal to root 3 into vl into il into cos theta see that in this expression we know most of the things total three phase power we already got it the line voltage is given power factor is known we already calculated what we need is line current. So, we can find this line current as IL is equal to P3 phase is 8 kilowatt. So, that should be taken care. Kilo is take, take, taken care by 10 power 3 divided by root 3 into VL. How much is VL? Line voltage 440 into power factor. We already calculated power factor 0. 186. So, how much is this current? So, 56.44 amperes. Is this correct? Yes, sir. Okay, right. So, now let me proceed with one more problem which is almost the same. So, I will give just watt meter readings are different. So, take this as a homework. So, almost the same values, but only watt meter reading is different. Okay. Okay, sir. Right. So, right. So, see here the next question that. So, the watt meter readings are given as. 2500 and 500 respectively which one you take w1 which one you take w2 is your wish no 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 much stringent constraint is there on that so i can take first one as w1 which is equal to 2500 watts and another one as w2 which is equal to 500 watts so next see that find the power factor of the circuit so immediately you can take up this task 
by getting power factor means you should get into your mind that it is cos theta but how can i got theta is tan inverse of tan inverse of root root 3 into difference of the watt meter readings w1 minus w2 divided by sum of the watt meter reading so this should come to your mind so 49.10 Theta. 49.1 okay, okay. So, so if you already calculated it's very good that now let me write here that this is the immediately thing which we need which is equal to so tan inverse of let me write the values why because someone may lose the connectivity so 2500 minus 500 divided by 2500 plus 500 how much is this value 0 49.10 theta right 49.109 degrees so power factor is immediately tf is equal to cos theta cos of 49.109 0 0.65 0 0.65 0 0.65 lagging why because theta is positive Right. So next to see the statement by statement. Next is when both readings are positive, that is what the case one. When the latter reading was reversed, actually without reading this statement we continued. But what we need is ultimately the power factor. For which cases? Case one is when both readings are positive. That means here let me write. This is A. A. When both watt meters are positive. Let me write here that when when m both are positive when both are positive this is the power factor. Next is very interesting. You need to understand carefully. This is very important also. When see this when the latter reading when the latter reading is obtained. Later means this one 500 is obtained after reversing the connections of the current coil of one instrument. This you need to understand carefully. Okay. So what we are saying is that we have watt meter. How? As like this. Let us say I have watt meter. This is W2 watt meter W2. It has current coil and pressure coil. So this is let us say M1 or M L. This is C V. What they are saying is that this watt meter, this watt meter is giving certain reading. When it is positive, like let us say this might be connected to a load as like this, it is connected to a load, just I am giving only single phase concept. So the load current might be in this way. So this is what the load current IL. Then you got watt meter reading positive. That is one case. Second case is that. Second case, what they said that latter reading is obtained after reversing the connections of connections to the current coil. Now what we need to do is that if we reverse the current coil connections, so as like this, just let me keep this aside. Now in the next step, sorry. In the next step, let me take this diagram. Now, what I will do is that just I will make the current coil connections in this. This will become L, this will become M. That means what I did is try to observe previously current was flowing from M to L. Observe here, current is flowing in this direction. Now, current is flowing through the watt meter current coil from L to M. Remember one important thing that 
in a watt meter in a watt meter generally watt meter reading is voltage coil voltage vpc magnitude into icc magnitude into cos of angle between these two that is theta v minus theta i let us see when current is reversed that means l to m the current will be shifted by 180 degree phase shift if you want just i will show me here i will show you here that so carefully observe this is very important concept initially let us say this is r phase current this is y phase current once again i am giving the concept of phasor diagram if somebody has missed in the last session so you can get it again so these are the b phase current this is ir iy ib let me write ir iy ib and actually you can take even even uh, the voltages also but as of now just i want to continue with this now what i am doing is that i am reversing the current what does it mean reversing the current means as like this current is going to be reversed let me take this same phase i will put the reversed currents in dot l line with the same color coding let us say red this is what minus i r this is what minus i b this is what minus i y so let me write these things in thick line this is minus i b minus i uh, r minus i y now see that this is case 1 this is case 1 when current is flowing from m to l let us assume this is the phasor diagram when current is flowing from l to m what does it mean in comparison to the case one this one here current is reversed yes or no is this clear if the current is reversed then angle between voltage and current is also going to be changed if angle between voltage and current going to be changed then entire watt meter reading will change how it will change is that it will become negative why because instead of taking the angle something like this we will be taking the angle 180 degrees apart from each other that introduce minus see so ir to minus iy minus ir How much is the angle? 180 degrees. Whenever 180 degrees is introduced, then that becomes the negative. So now the uh, ultimate point out of this point is that in case B, when later reading is obtained after reversing the current coil means that is what the negative reading. In case A, when both are positive, no issue. but in case b what they are saying is that now according to case b w1 is the same really no change in that how much is that 2500 yes sir but w2 is minus 500 why because this value we got after reversing the current coil dash whenever we reverse the current coil connection definitely that shows the negative okay or it is opposite of the previous one previously how much i got positive now opposite of positive is negative got my point when it is in this way w2 reading is 500 now if i reverse these connections how much is w2 actually is minus 500 that's got my point so now with this you need to again find the power factor that is so simple that we already seen so tan inverse of so root 3 into 
so w1 minus w2 is 3000 divided by w1 plus w2 is 2000 how much is this value so 3 root 3 by 2 tan inverse tan inverse 68.94 68.94 okay so what will be the power factor for this case cos theta is equal to cos of 68.94 sir. 0.35 sir. 0.35 0.35 9 as because theta is still positive we can say this is lagging lagging okay so in this way you can uh, interpret this important uh, coil reverse to nature right carefully And here, just they were asking for certain load, one watt meter. I think this is not required. Just uh, I would like to show the draw the phasor diagram and connection. I will show this one. Okay, I will show this one. Phasor diagram and connection diagrams for both cases. Okay, that case A, case B. I hope this you can do. This is extra problem, so you can do this. Let me put this at end somewhere. so you can take this task as homework as next homework just same thing but one is negative other is positive w1 is 20 w2 is minus 5 then you need to calculate active power power factor that's all, okay that you can take as a homework now what i'll do is that case one phasor diagram and general diagram both i'll show okay so first thing what i'll observe is that is the load what kind of load is that so lagging load so i'll say first let us take the load over here so load impedances are z at an angle theta and here also z at an angle theta so first try to draw the load carefully i'm taking star connected load as because they have not said anything about the load nature whether it is star connected or delta connected it doesn't matter then immediately extend these lines as like this and you can name these things as r phase line y phase line b phase line how i am using see this in clockwise r y b always i will follow this pattern okay next so what i will do is that watt meter 1 so watt meter 1 i will connect here current coils are connected in series with r phase one more watt meter current coil are connected in series with the y phase and the pressure coil is connected from that phase to the remaining third phase what is left out b and here also pressure coil is connected from that same phase to the next remaining third phase b so in this way we can establish the connection diagram now this becomes the current ir this becomes ib iy iy then let me give the voltage is also clearly vr vy vb vb as the voltages and we know all currents and voltages now let me put this as a w1 reading this as a w2 reading now quickly i'll draw the phasor diagram for this corresponding case first what we do is that try to put up the voltage of each phase this is vr then vy is lagging vr by 120 degrees then vb is further lagging vy by 120 degrees next r phase corresponding current is lagging r phase voltage by theta this is what ir 
an angle of theta this is very important to carefully indicate theta value don't make it clumsy next y phase corresponding thing will lag the y phase voltage by an angle theta again this is also theta b phase corresponding current will lag the b phase voltage by an angle theta okay all are phases this is also theta so now what will be the w1 so for which you need to observe what is the voltage this is c1 to p1 or v1 is your wish c1 to let me write p1 c2 p1 is rb voltage rb voltage so vrb where we will get vrb so vr minus vb vr minus vb vb means here negative then this is minus vb then the parallelogram will gives the v r b voltage now you can see angle between v r b and i r how much is the angle this total angle is 30 degrees this entire angle is 30 how much is the angle between v r b means this blue color line and this i r means this is a small angle here which you could see here this portion total angle is 30 out of that ir is making an angle of theta so 30 minus theta is what the angle between vrb and ir so i can write w1 is equal to vl il cos of angle between vl and il what is vl is vrb il is ir so that is 30 minus theta what about W2? It is very important. Carefully we should take up the W2. W2 voltage is C2 to P2. C2 is connected Y. P2 is connected to B. So Y to B. Vy minus Vb. Vy minus Vb. That we need to take it. So Vy is here. And draw the parallelogram for this. Minus Vb. Then draw a line that is what V Y B V Y minus V B. Now what angle I need is that what will be the current coil current I Y. What will be the voltage V Y B is the voltage. So V Y B is here I Y is here. This is an angle of how much is this angle? 30 degrees. This angle is the theta. So how much is W2? 30 plus T. VL IL cos 30 plus theta. This is very important. Now, same concept I would like to repeat. This is, let me write here that when, or uh, case A, case A, when, when both, both wattmeters, when both wattmeters are, are positive read, are showing positive readings, or positive readings or positive readings now so case b just i will take beside this case b same diagram i will take beside this carefully observe this also i will make little small okay now what are we doing tell me what are we doing just we are removing the current coil. Previously, let me give the current coil names also that this is M1. So, this is L1. Sorry, M2, L2. Why? Because it is wattmeter 2. So, I am using some, let us say, blue color. M2 terminal, L2 terminal. This is L2, this is M2. Now, what I would like to do is that reverse these terminals. That means this side is L2, other side is M2. So, same current coil, but we are reversing the connections. Could you observe this change? Could you observe this change carefully? This change you try to observe carefully. 
now as a result of this as a result of this how current is flowing is that you can say negative current which is minus i y is read by this wattmeter current coil i c c 2 is equal to usually i m to l remember this always current should flow from m to l but how current is flowing here tell me from l to m how i y is flowing in this way right i y is this current i y is flowing from l to m but actually what we get in wattmeter is m to l that means this is what minus i y got my point which is equal to i or which is equal to i can say minus i ln but got my thing this is m to l to of course m to l L2 means L2 terminal. Okay. Usually for a wattmeter, current should flow from M to L. Then that is what the positive direction. If somebody is flowing opposite to that, that is negative current read by that person. That's all. When I reverse that things, current is flowing from L to M. So I can say L to M is minus I M L. That is what. I am reading here as a negative current. Now see carefully the same phasor diagram. Very important concept. What additionally I need to tell me which current and which voltage? Wattmeter reading W two. Can you tell me what is W two reading? I, there is no change in W one, so I am not discussing about W one. So W two reading is voltage coil voltage which is V C two P two magnitude into I C C two magnitude into cos of angle between this voltage and this current. Okay. What is voltage? Same voltage. There is no change in the pressure coil. Which voltage is Y two B? I already got Y two B. But which current? I C C two. How much is that? Minus I Y. Where is minus I Y? Where is minus I Y? Opposite to I Y. This is what minus I Y. So now this is minus I Y. Now what angle I need? What angle I need? Angle between V Y B and minus I Y. Which angle we need is that? Which angle we need is that voltage between V Y B and minus I Y. How much is that? Can you tell me? How much is that? We need to carefully observe. One thing is that this entire thing is 90 degrees. Carefully see here which color I should take. Yeah. So this entire thing, where to where, V R two, V Y B is 90 degrees. This entire thing is 90 degrees. Okay. Next is when it is projected back. Means this is, I can say here, V Y is over here. That means V Y negative value minus V Y will cut V B and V R each at 60 and 60. This is a 60, other is 60. And it is lagging the corresponding voltage by 30 degrees here. In the same way here, this angle also going to be 30. Theta, sorry, theta degrees here. So now, if this angle is theta, can you carefully observe what will be the remaining left out angle? This angle, green color angle. This entire is 60. 60 minus theta. So this is 90. So total angle between 
minus i y and v y b. Now let me write. There is no change in the w one, so I can write w one remains the same. V l i l cos 30 minus theta. But what about w two? V l i l. V l means this magnitude is V l. Mod. I l means i y is equal to i l. Every current is same magnitude, so that's why I am taking i l. Into cos of how much is the voltage angle? 90 degrees. Which 90? Negative. Why? Because it is in clockwise. How much is the current angle? Which current? Minus i y current. How much is its angle? 60 minus theta. 60 minus theta. So. Vl il cos of how much we will get this? So negative of minus 150 minus minus plus theta. So Vl il cos of cos of you can say theta minus uh, your wish theta minus 150. W two. Now see the difference between previous W two and this W two. Previous W two and this W two. So because there is a phase shift in the W two, this W two will gives the negative reading. So when current coil is reversed, see what kind of phase diagram we got. What kind of reading we are getting. The reading, whatever we get here, will become negative of this reading. Definitely, you can cross verify if you want by taking some theta. You can cross verify. So these are the important concepts that this is for B. That when 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 W two W two current coil is reversed is reversed. So for this case, what we had done. We had done these things that we had drawn the phasor diagram and the connection diagram. Okay, for both cases, A and B. This is high, very important. Carefully focus on this problem. Okay, is this clear for everyone? Yes, sir. So a simple logic that whatever may be the thing, the phasor diagram for two at meter method for balanced system. Almost going to be stay same as like. The important observation is that what is the current coil current? Is it plus I Y or minus I? Is the current flowing from M to L or L to M? That all depends. Okay, so you have to be carefully observe such a things and you have to solve the problem very carefully. Okay, so with this let me wind up this session. So thank you all.